you're gonna create a loop and you don't have to worry too much about how big it is. And then you just bring it as small as you can and bring it back a couple of times and see how that got a bunch smaller. And then now you have pretty much the tightest corner you're gonna get with this wire. Um, and it looks really nice. So that's how you make sharp turns. Um, okay. So. Of course, now I've got the wire all bent up. And once you get everything taped, you can go, but you just want to make sure the wire's like the right length, if that makes sense. Um, because now, um, in the Home Depot bag, there's some electrical tape. Can you hand me some? Oh, hi, Hazel. <laughs> there's uh, chairs over here. Thank you. So, now that I have my first loop, whoa, sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and just tack it down. And we can worry about getting the loops like perfect and looking pretty later. Because right now you're just trying to get your um, your wire basically done. And then we'll make it look pretty later. Um, okay, so that's one side. And then I'll flip it over. Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait. Sorry. We'll get the U-bend. And do the exact same thing. And then end it down here and tack it like on this side. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then what you'll do, you're going to have now this second, I made this loop here, and now I want to make this loop here, and this little guy down here. Each one you make, you're going to create a little loop, and they're going to tack together. And then when we're done, we're going to take a piece of wire and connect the two loops. But let's start by making each side. So, um, can you give me a make your U's with this? Just like make as much of a U as you can, and we so can end up taping it. Like that would be kind of Press it down onto the cellophane. And it should stick on there pretty good. And just because you had to get it off of here, you're gonna. Um, Cut it out and you can cut it out rough right now it doesn't matter um i have a question do you want to do decorations color no i kind of want to do plain you want plain mm -hmm. okay well then i can kind of show the next step also that's fine um that makes it kind of nice um thank you um and you can cut it like i said cut it big this is not where you're making it look pretty on the edges yet you're just getting it away from the rest of the cellophane. And this is the cellophane they sell for like gift wrap and stuff. Yeah, that's all it is. And is it pretty durable? This, I mean, no, this is not, but we're gonna be putting vinyl on it afterwards. So, uh, this is just to get it all shiny. Um, which side did I just do? Okay, so next, um, now what you're going to do is you are going to spray the other side of the cellophane, um, the inside, and you're going to then glue it to that piece of cellophane. This does not dry like super immediately, so they don't like spray and then try and get it on super fast. It's not hypercritical. I don't want you guys rushing, basically. But you need to get back. So you're not folding anything over. Or so now have that side and spread this back out. You want to get it flat as you can. The fewer bubbles you have, the better. You and yeah, you guys can help each other by like pulling on it to get it nice and flat. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. And you're gonna just lay it down. Other piece of 
press it in. And get it to it here. And now both sides of your wire are covered. And then you're going to cut it out again. different um, colors of um, cellophane. I have, let's see, I have gold. I have like a nice like tealy kind of blue. What else do I have? Um, I have, you want to do or, uh, organza, like a color in it. So like I have blue and red and I have this really cool peachy color that I go good with this cellophane. Um, if you want to do the organza, I would, um, you're gonna do that in between these layers, but the principle's the same. You're gonna do one side, you're gonna spray glue it, you're gonna put the organza door down, you're gonna spray glue it, and then you're gonna put your last layer of cellophane. If you want the color, the organza will let this iridescence through. So if you want a more vibrant color on one side and you're less concerned with the iridescence, you can skip the second layer of the cellophane entirely. So that's sandwich time. So um, I'll go get the other cellophane and yeah. So